Alright, hello guys. In this video, we're going to be talking about Invest number 91L. Before I get started with the video, I would recommend that you do subscribe. Also, check out my seasonal forecast that I just uploaded for summertime. That's going to be a really cool one. I'm going to be uploading my official hurricane season forecast soon and also my first fall outlook, my preliminary fall outlook or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I will be uploading that soon, so please subscribe if this is your first video. I have lots of exciting stuff coming up. Now, firstly, we're going to be looking at the moisture here going on in the Gulf of Mexico. And you can see there's a, a little bit of uh, blue, which is is very moist you can see there off the coast of Mexico uh, in that peninsula there and you can see that's where we're expecting some development to possibly take place but you can see moisture is definitely uh, there and, and very abundant now here's the tropical intensity in index and this is just a tool that you can use uh, from this whatever this news station is and you can see there's very high highly favorable conditions there in that in that same little uh, peninsula there and, and that's really going to help the development here. All the things look really good for tropical development within that area. Now, here's your satellite imagery of our current situation here. And you can see there's a lot of instability, a lot of thunderstorms taking place. So we're going to see if this can possibly start to get its, its shape together over the next you know, two, three, four, five days and uh, possibly impact Mexico and even possibly Texas. And I'll get more into that in just a second. Now, you can see here, according to NOAA's five-day forecast, there's a 50% chance of de development within that area. Uh, again, we just looked at that. It's highly favorable and highly, highly moist within that area, and there's a 50% chance of development within the next five days because of that. Now, here's your spaghetti model outlook, and this is why I was saying this could possibly impact Texas. You can see uh, right now the models are definitely calling for it to hit Mexico. That's that's a given. Whether it's a tropical storm, depression, or just thunderstorms, it's looking to head towards Mexico. And then about half of the models have it swinging up and then going along the Texas coast there. So that would affect areas like Houston and other areas along the Gulf uh, and on the Texas coast. Now here's your intensity model plume here. And you can see that we have uh, the wind speed is at 20 knots right now. Uh, but it could possibly go into tropical storm status. Some of the models have it going into tropical storm status. Some of it, one of them has it going down uh, in, t in intensity and not really coming back up over the next 48 hours. And then some of them have it kind of maintaining over the next few days. But really, we're going to have to keep an eye on this one. And there probably will need to be an update in the future because this could possibly go into tropical storm status. And if it looks a lot more likely that that's going to happen, I'm going to definitely need to update you guys on this tropical um invest here that we have going on. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and again if this is your first video, I hope that you do subscribe. See you guys in the next video.